Hi, I'm Tam with the Scove with your solar storm forecast for the week of January 7th. Welcome to the new year. This week has already been a buzz of activity with multiple solar ejections, a couple coming off south of the center disk, and some gorgeous limb events like this beautiful twister you see right here. Now all eyes are on sunspot region 1944, and why? This thing is monstrous. Have you seen this thing? It's a, probably the biggest thing that I've seen at least until, since 2011, and some are saying it's the biggest thing they've seen since the previous solar cycle. Now aside from being absolutely huge, this region also is very magnetically complicated. You can see all the electrical activity right here. And it's given us multiple M flares over the past few days, including this M4 flare you see right here that launched an earthward directed solar storm. That storm is just now hitting us as of this posting. And then we switch to coronagraph images. This is LASCO that shows 15 solar lengths out into space. Bam! There's the ejection right there and you can see it looks like it's actually surrounding the sun. That means it's a halo ejection and it's earth directed. Now I'll come back to that earth directed storm. But first, let me tell you about this event on the 6th. We had a, a very strong flare behind the west limb. It has caused a radiation storm on Earth. You can see here there are quite high energies. Now, when we switch to our radiation dose model, this is NARAS that monitors radiation for airline flights. You see they are issuing a warning for uh, anyone who's pregnant. So if you happen to be flying uh, internationally uh, for a long period of time at high latitudes and high altitudes, please be advised uh, you're getting the equivalent of many chest x-rays. So if you absolutely don't have to fly when you're pregnant uh, during this time or over the next week, please consider not doing so. Now getting back to that earthward directed solar storm, this is Enlil, our prediction model. It shows the density blob that is that earthward directed ejection coming toward us. And if we flip the impact footprint so that north face is up, you can see we're actually hitting the northern tip of that ejection. So what does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, these are synoptic charts that show all of the active regions all over the sun. The east and west limbs are denoted by those vertical lines and they bracket the earth field of view. Now when we put these charts into motion, you can see there's been a lot of activity that's been coming onto the east limb and it's now rotating into the earth field of view. Now returning to the disk, you can see region 1936 is rotating behind the west limb, so that's becoming less of a problem for us now. But the big story here is region 1944. You can see all that magnetic mixing, it's extremely complicated as well as being massive and those delta spots are growing all the time. So you'll continue to see flares coming from this region, especially as it's rotating now onto the center disk. So look for more uh, flares and maybe even radiation storms as it begins to rotate to the west. But wait, there's more. This just in. We just had an X1.2 flare from the southwest portion of region 1944. And you see this S shape? We call that a sigmoid, and that's usually indicative of a solar ejection coming at us which might mean in a couple days we'll get a solar storm. So the outlook for this week is changing faster than I can keep up with. We have a solar storm that's hitting us now with this new X flare. We may have another solar storm hitting us in about three days or so. And it looks like a new radiation storm is brewing. So again, pregnant women, please be advised that there is enhanced radiation. Uh, so if you don't absolutely have to go on those long duration flights, please don't go. Also expect to have increased errors in your smartphones, uh, your GPS units, your mobile broadband, anything that has to do with satellite communications and their services over the next couple days during these solar storms, especially high latitudes. So definitely don't trust your GPS as much as you normally would. And our storm chasers, look to the north horizon. You might see some aurora tonight. I'm Tam with the Scove. Thank you for watching.